Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Renata and in this video, I will be sharing with you my December sewing plan. So if you guys are interested and you want to know what is going on in the Twilight Sisters space for this month, meet me in the next section. Okay, here we are. It is December 7th. And I am now bringing to you my plans for the month, but we can definitely get there. I can attain these goals that I've set for myself. If you guys think that I can make everything that I share with you in my plans, please give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's dive into the most important project on my agenda for the month of December. If you just came from watching my mini fabric haul video, then you guys know this already. But for those of you that, that don't know, I have two red fabrics here for this beautiful project, which I will be making for the little red dress project. Now, let me share, you, share with you the fabric. Okay. So, this is the fabric with all intention of becoming that gorgeous dress that you recently seen here on the channel. I just shared it with you. This is the fabric that I purchased for that project. But, <sighs> Renata being Renata, just love to push the envelope and take things to another level and also add an extra layer of stress to my mix on the daily. I am not using these fabric for that dress project at all. So we're going to set this aside and I'm going to share with you the images of the fabric that I purchased for this project. The first one is this one and the next one is this one. <laughs> so I'm going to come up with some sort of pretty design with these fabrics to create that dress for the month of December. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you on December 20th. Probably that's when I'll post my video when everyone will most likely be sharing all their final projects for the little red dress project. So that is the first one. The second project is another red dress and I can't believe I don't have the fabric here. It is a velvet red fabric. I'm going to make more or less a, hopefully, hopefully, the plan is to make a sort of turtleneck dress but sleeveless and very form-fitting for my casual little red dress project. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. If you have watched the Friday Souls episode 18, then you would have seen that dress, that inspiration dress for this red fabric. <laughs> and I think it's going to turn out great. While I'm waiting for the other red dress fabrics to arrive, I will work on this red dress project. And hopefully I can share with you a little sneak peek on Instagram until we get to the major project. So let's move on to typical monthly sews project. Let me grab my fabric and then I will get a chat in with you guys. Well, I thought it really wouldn't be fair to share with you that I will be making another red dress and not share the fabric that I would be using so here I am to just stick it in right here and share with you so this is the red fabric that I'm going to use to make that fitted dress I think it's going to look really beautiful let me know what you think but I can't wait to share this with you it's a beautiful fabric uh, it has a good stretch and it's also really um, weighty so it has a nice weight it doesn't feel very cheap I picked it up at Joann's and it's going to look amazing so let's move on to December sewing plans. 
on the agenda for this month is McCall's M8037. I am participating for the very first time in So Your View. This is their dress project for the month of December and I had to do it all year. I've been saying I should join in and do some of the so your views challenge I have never done it just because some of the patterns they post I don't have it or I really wasn't into sewing some of the designs or I was just too busy and I kept putting it off but I decided that I'm going to start this project and hopefully next year I can join in more of their so your views but this dress is so gorgeous I love it and I cannot wait to make it. I am going to make view B. So it's the longer dress. And let's get the details of this. So it's an evening dress or it can be an ankle length dress. It has a plunging tie front. There is also a draped neckline for view C. The skirt has a center front slip and the hem is stitched. That, that really encapsulate the description of the pattern. I'm, I was torn. I wanted to go with the sleeveless version, but then I saw Erica B's version from, I think it's 2019, or maybe it's 2020. No, it's 2020. I saw Erica B's version. It's beautiful, it's white, it's amazing. Well, let me tell you, I decided to go with that version B, but I think I might shorten the dress a bit. I just don't think I want a super long dress. I want to be able to use it more. And I think that this is going to look amazing in this fabric that I chose. Now my heart dropped when I saw a flashback Thursday about this dress, this fabric. So this is the fabric, which is a super wow fabric that I could not believe I found at Joann's. And I just shared this in my mini fabric haul, but it is so beautiful, extremely gorgeous. And I felt like, oh my gosh, it's going to look amazing. I'm going to just wow everyone. And then bam, <laughs> somebody already found this fabric a year ago and made the exact same dress. And my, my heart just fell. I was like, darn it. Sometimes you want to be the first to do something and it just didn't happen. But I am going to play around with some leftover lace fabric that I have. And I think that just might make this look a little bit different, more personalized for the Renata. I have my wow factor in there and just look beautiful. I'm already shortening this dress because I think it's going to look magnificent as a mini dress. Also, I'm not going to have such a plunging neckline. I'm going to do as Erica did. She stitched up the neckline and it looked perfect. So that is one of the projects for this month. Well, let's move on to the next fabric. Okay, so this is the next fabric that I'm going to be working with. It's a Minerva fabric and I feel that a billy would really be a nice project for this so I could make the billy from Tilly and the buttons otherwise I was thinking about um oh my gosh I've seen a really beautiful fabric I mean not fabric pattern from fiber mood I think that's what they are called. They're a magazine. I've never used any of their patterns, but I've seen their latest edition and there's this really nice, oh my gosh, I think it's a sweater or it could be a top. But anyway, it has this really nice sleeve detail. So I'm thinking this would look really good. Otherwise, should I make another Vanessa pattern from <laughs> Made by the Mermaids with this one? I think it would look really cool, but I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking that a, a simple tee would look really pretty in this, 
or I could always go with the Agnes which is the Agnes is just a winner no matter what you do and I also have done a hack of the Agnes to create a square neck but I, I just aren't feeling square neck for this maybe a v-neck what do you guys think what what pattern should I use for this one because I am going to also sew this this month and um, yeah that's pretty much what my thoughts are for this project I'm gonna also include some pictures here so you guys can see where my mind is going regarding this fabric and what I should make with it so let me go grab the other project that I, I might be able to squeeze in if I get time otherwise this might just be pushed into a January sewing so hold on one sec so the next uh, fabric we're going to look at is from Minerva and it is this beautiful Lady McElroy cotton lawn fabric with amazing designs of faces and flowers it's just so beautiful when I saw it the first pattern that came to my mind was this one this is from the December 2020 issue it's design 103 love this however I can't make it with this fabric because it is too soft <laughs> It's too flowy. I mean, the fabric is too flowy for that. That design is just made for um, the stretch viscous. So something with a little stretch, a little heavier and more jersey style. So no luck with that, but I would love to get your recommendations for this because I would like to sew it up real quick. I think it's going to look good as a shirt, something with some intricate sleeve detail, something that um, has probably pleats or pin tuck. Do you know what just came to mind? I saw on Instagram, I think it's named clothing. Oh my gosh. They posted a soon to be released pattern and I, I gotta find it because I gotta show it to you guys. Hold on one sec. No, 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 no. Is it named? Mm. Maybe it's not named. I'm trying to remember. Oh, By Hand London. Yes! It is By Hand London. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I don't think anybody's going to be too mad at me for sharing this. But, do you guys see that shirt? Look at the detail on that. That is probably something that I'm thinking about for this shirt. And think about it with some really beautiful gold buttons. Yes, winner, 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 chicken dinner. It's going to be awesome. So that is it. That is my plan for the month of December, guys. I will be making two little red dresses. I'm going to be making a really nice top with that fabric from Minerva so that floral fabric and I will also be making the So Your Views dress McCall's M80 I cannot remember the rest so I'll stick it up here somewhere thank you so much for joining me and watching this video I really appreciate you taking time to sit down and enjoy me rambling and sharing things that go on in this sewing space have a magnificent day and I will talk to you guys real soon bye bye